We're going to be right back. Of a, of a bad draw in this tournament. He probably beats anybody else in the Super 6. McKellian's night. No, McKellian looked outstanding tonight against Morris Breedis. Will he get the verdict in his favor? We're about to find out and see how the judges... I already know who won, and uh, since I... Okay, let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. Um, I covered the Tony Bellew, uh, Alexander Usyk card. Well, Usyk versus Bellew card. Then I started watching this along with UFC Denver. So around 10 p.m. or so Eastern Standard Time, the uh, fight before this was on. I forgot the two fighters' names. Um, and I fell asleep. Woke up about 2 a.m. and I started watching this. So right now... Uh, it is 4.56 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, November 11th, 2018. I'm Tish Street Controversy. This is Tish Street Controversy Live. And Maris Breedis, as you're about to see right here, former WBC. What was he? He was the, he, he wasn't, he was the WBC what? Interim champion? Which one was he? Because you had Bellew, who was the emeritus. Groves, Groves, the, how do you pronounce that guy's name? He never came back. Um... Whatever, long story short, former champion. You're about to see him get a gift. Let me go check right here. I can just check right here. Yeah, he was the WBC. He was the WBC, the full WBC champion. Um, I noticed on his last he he, he seemed to he seems to be a bit on the backside, on, on, on the backslide, right? Slowing down a bit. This guy right here, he's getting a, a robbery. Man, you know, it's hard to say a close fight was a robbery, but in this case, I think he won at least four rounds. And then we do have the scorecard here. But we're going to go through the motions. McKelly, he was able to control a very hungry, a very hard punching, a very determined champion, and a, a champion who has never been, you know, in a fight like this. To, to pick Noel McKelly and. And to lose in the first round, it's, it's, I'm, I'm shocked. And let's throw it up to Ray Flores at ringside. Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we go to the scorecard. I want to hear the crowd reaction. Remember, crowd doesn't hear commentary. Jermaine Rendon has it 116-110. Steve Morrow, 115-111. Hubert Mena, 114-112 for your winner by unanimous decision. And now the WBC Cruiserweight Diamond Champion. And moving on to the semifinals of the World Boxing Super Series Cruiserweight Tournament. Morris Breeders! My bad. People like how? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm left completely speechless. I, I'm not sure what I'm witnessing right now. <laughs> In a fight where Morris Breedis was beaten almost every round, I, I can't think of more than two or three rounds that I could have possibly given him. And uh, with the point deduction from McKelly in the beginning, and then. Breedis getting the point deduction later in the fight. I, I can't. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Shocking. And we finally hear the Latvian crowd uh, start. Now listen, this fight took place in Chicago. It didn't take place in Latvia. It didn't take place in Germany. Chicago. Chicago. How did they have him win it? And especially on all three cards, and he had a point deducted. Even though it was an unjust point deduction, he had a point deducted. Ray Flores is uh, interviewing him right now. Victory. Uh, you heard a mixed reaction here at UIC. Uh, there are a lot of people at ringside that had McKellian winning the fight. What do you feel led to the victory here tonight against McKellian? Uh, we know it is very hard preparing because um, we have uh, before injuries and uh, doctors say we, we can boxing, but I say we can box. And uh, I have a... Uh, Hold up. Let me pause it right there. You guys have to understand that I've fought a long time. 
and nearly got my channel shut down numerous times have been shut down numerous times to be able to get you these highlights obviously we can't show you all highlights but we can show you portions because of a law and some you know friends in high places so don't be mad when i'm doing this shit i'm trying to figure out a better way to do it you know instead of fucking moving this shit all around like this but chill out i don't know too many other channels if any on this level that are giving you highlights so get off my back no questions how much here is a um, chicago fans from chicago uh, and, and second and second question Cik daudz šeit ir latviešu atbalstītāji? Maris, yeah. are you telling us that you were injured coming into this fight? You, you mentioned about dealing with doctors. Were you injured coming into this fight? Come again. What, was he injured coming into the fight? Uh, no, uh, but um, before it's a long time for recovery. It's three months, but we take uh, one month. And uh, for fight, you know, not too much, how you see, it's not too much right hand, but uh, how my coach say, it is a, this is be in this tournament hardest fight. Because, uh, yes, uh, yes, how he say, but we did it, and thank you, Chicago, thank, thanks Latvian fans, thanks, uh, thanks my opponent, it's a very good opponent. Who do you want next? Our second main event features Govatsky, Vlasov. Who do you want? You are going to be finding the winner of our next contest. Who do you want in the semifinals? Uh, I fight with uh, this guy who win this uh, fight. So whoever. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Morris Bredis. He is victorious here tonight. He moves on to the semifinals. They're not going to talk to Mikhailian? Damn, that's messed up. And guys, there we see Noel McKellian walking out of the ring to his team, giving him, consoling him, and letting him know that he fought a tremendous fight. And look, I got to be honest, he, he fought the fight Damn. of his life. He did everything he, he had to do to win a championship fight, held on strong down the stretch, and I just don't, I can't fathom how the judges gave uh, Breedis eight of those rounds. I just, I, I, I don't get it. You know, great gutsy performance by Breedis. I mean, hang in there and do what he had to do and come on mm. late. Like, he fought a great fight, but just, you know, it's these boxing, kids man. so hard to, to get an opportunity like that. It takes years. That's boxing, man. So, um, I, even though I know uh, that it's going to be uh, Breedis versus uh, Glowoski, this is now the 11th first round World Boxing Super Series. And, you know, the last one for the first round is going to be uh, this one uh, coming up next. Then we're going to move on to the second round. The The second round venues are supposed to be, and dates are supposed to be announced within the next couple of weeks because they're supposed to take place in um, in um, January, February, meaning the second round of the World Boxing Super Series where you're going to see Breedis versus uh, Glowoski and uh, Unier Dorticos versus An uh, Andrew Tabidi, a big fight I'm looking forward to. Um, over on the Bantamweights, you're going to have uh, Donaire versus Tite, and then uh, Minoye versus Rodriguez. The Super uh, Lightweights, 140, uh, Regis Progray versus Krill Verlock. And then uh, Baron Check versus, uh, this one I'm about to watch now. Um, Baron Check versus uh, uh, Josh Taylor versus Baron Check. And then the finals for these, of course, if there's no injuries, obviously, um, it's supposed to take place in June, July-ish. Overall, the tournaments will be over within a year. And for the cruiserweights, the winner is likely going to come out with a championship. I'm sure they're working. See, it all depends on when Alexander Usyk moves up to heavyweight. And he may be up at heavyweight by time this tournament is over. You see what I'm saying? So it depends on whenever he vacates the belts. We already know that WBC Diamond is in this tournament. And of course, whoever comes out is going to be the mandatory for something. But... They it, it may be another belt on the line. They may be they may end up being the mandatory for the WBC, as well as maybe the WBO or the WBA Super on the line or some shit. If if Usyk vacates, but we got to get to the main event. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. We cover every single World Boxing Super Series fight. Everyone, please subscribe.